Evond. All right, streaming live on whitradio.org from High Tech High School in North Bergen, New Jersey. It's the second take show. I'm your announcer, Devin Garrido, and now your host, Sam the Man. All right, thank you for the shout out from uh, from our announcer, Devin. I'm Sam the Man. That's Mob in the Magnet. Yep. Uh, Ratchet Richie, and welcome to Second Take, where we will be discussing sports and other things from the weeks past and in the years past, and basically from the existence of sports. Uh, not yesterday, but Monday there was a football game. And in this football game, the Kansas City Chiefs beat the New England Patriots 41-7. Uh, to oh. So I guess that you can say that it was... Um, 14, actually. 41-14. Oh, so I guess you can say it was um, uh, the little big horn all over again. I, I don't get that. You don't get the joke? I, I, I did not get that, that at all. I was like, what? Little big horn is... Um, he was... I. I, I forget. I think he was part of the. He, I know he was part of like the American Army or something, but he lost to the Indians and he wasn't really I, su- yeah. <coughs> they were Native Americans. He wasn't really supposed to. So Patriots losing to Chiefs. Don't get it. Okay. Um, back you, to the game. You're not. You're clearly not intelligent enough. Um, uh, no, Tom, after you explained it, I got it. So it made a little more sense. Tom Brady looked pretty bad. He looked pretty bad. Um, 14 for 23, 159 yards, touchdown, two interceptions. Uh, now a lot of people are saying this is the mark of an end of an era and i have to disagree because yes bro he's Tom old Brady's, he's old man he is old he's 37 but you have to that's consider old? that's old for football i understand uh, and for nba for, he's a, old for uh, almost for, any sport for, except elite, the, for an elite quarterback who in my opinion is the best quarterback all time i don't I'm think sorry, that's, man, i think he's got a lot left in him 37 to, there's look you know what pa- the Patriots he, offense this year is not clearly, in depth he's at clearly all. not the same quarterback that he used to be He's, he's not. clearly not. He's, he's not. not. he's not. And you could blame it on the offensive line. You could blame it on whatever you want. But has there ever really been a, a big name person on their offensive line, a Hall of Famer on their offensive not line? Not really. No. No. Are you going to tell what me? What has changed? From are that? you going to tell me a Tom Brady at thirty-seven is a, a one touchdown to interception guy? Yes. Absolutely. He was no. last year in the playoffs. You have a weak O line, especially after the trade of Logan Megan's with the off season. That O line has no absolutely no name. At least in the past, it's had names. You know before. who you have to blame for but this? But it has no name. Name. I Besides the guy that you just named. Besides name the guy that you named. Name one he, was other the, he was the biggest name. name I really one, can't name, name one my other head. person. I can't. He was not the biggest name. I couldn't name another person because the the beauty the of the only big the beauty, lineman that the Patriots have ever had beauty, in general was it was Vince Wilfred. He's a defensive lineman. The the beauty of their offensive line was not the talent on it was the way they worked together. That was the beauty of it, and I think you've lost that. But I also think that you see. The change. I mean, last year you saw it in the playoffs. Did they rely on Tom Brady's arm or Lou Garrett Blunt's legs? Lou Garrett's legs. Okay. I mean, would that would you have, well, would mean, you ever thought that you would say the Patriots, the New England Patriots? It's were, also the first time the Patriots had a good running running offense in a while. I, or, dis- or I disagree. In general, I disagree. When was the last time? Um, I don't remember. I forget his, I, 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 if anything, I forget his name. But there was definitely have been other great running backs. Uh, some something else even, happened at the and game. Even if the O line, even if Logan, even if they had names like and or they were at the end of the day, the O line is not doing what they're supposed to do. And on top of that, you have a you have a weak core at the receiving. The receiving you like you only have Julian Edelman. That like, yeah, it I mean, seems Tom Brady did throw a pick six, and Mo has a story about that. Yeah. Um, uh, so an NFL player was actually penalized during that game for after a little interception that old Tom Brady over there threw. Um, he Plus scored no receivers. So he ran back for a touchdown right after the interception, and he was penalized for showing some religious gestures. I have a huge problem with this. I don't know about you guys, but I, you know, after seeing other players get away with it that weren't Muslim, and now a Muslim Name player, Tim Tebow, Tim Tebow he is Tim huge. Tim Tebow is a huge the, example. There and also Brandon Marshall. I mean, basically all the players do this. I mean, yeah. you see it all the time How where they get down on a knee it? and they cross themselves. It's, it's a common touch. The, yeah. the rule was, I mean, it's Rule 12, Section 3, Article 1D. I believe you used to be able to do it in Madden, right? Yeah. You used to be able yeah, to Madden, you could Tebow. Yeah. yeah. And not only Tebow, but in Madden you used to be able to, to pray just yeah. in general. It, it wasn't. It's it wasn't only another player who has a common. Um, I don't know how this is a big that problem, is Marshall. You yeah. have running other running backs in the league who do the same thing. Um, it's 
it's just it's a it's sad that somebody who has a different religion and gets penalized well, for celebrating a different way. See, they blamed it on the slide, and this brings up a bigger, not a bigger but so issue. The other thing was issue, celebrating on the floor, but again, Tebow went on the on. floor as well. So. Yeah. I'm trying to bring up a, a okay. point and a question. Okay. They claim, the referees claim that it was because of the slide that they threw the flag, but this brings up a bigger question. Do you think it was the refs being against uh, Islam and against Muslims, or do you think it was that they didn't know that it was a prey, a prayer? Sam has a point. It, it, I was, it, it may have not have known. Confused for somebody just get down and like being like, oh, you're like yay, like oh, okay, I'm gonna kiss the end zone, as opposed to a prayer. If you don't really know too much about the Muslim religion, I was which, considering I that mean, actually. It's it's something that you you have to think. Uh, I don't know what the exact. It's not the biggest. It's by it is, no it's stretch. It's the most celebrated. The, it's the it's, most celebrated religion in the world with uh, over a billion yes, followers. Don't live in, they don't live in the area where it's most populated. Okay. I was gonna say you stole the words. You didn't steal the words. You replaced the words in my mouth and interrupted me because I was gonna say Go it's on, definitely man. not the most uh, celebrated religion in the Amer- in the United oh, States okay. by far. No, not even not. close. But in the world. In the world, yes, but they don't visit the world. You're, you're bringing I, in the world for no reason. You have to consider we're in America. I was actually you're bringing even, in the world. Even in the what U.S., is, there are on. a lot of Muslims in the U.S. But too. What is, but what does the world have to do with these people, with um, these referees not knowing about the culture? I mean, even if it's the biggest in the world, if they haven't visited those areas of the world, they wouldn't know about these. Uh, I'm sorry, these. man. I just, I can't. It's hard for me to give them a pass for this, honestly. It's not it's, it's not a pass. And unless they come out and say, we don't know that much about the Muslim religion, I'm not going to give them a pass. They've never said anything. All they said was we shouldn't well, have penalized said anything them. yet. All they the said NFL was we shouldn't have penalized them. Yeah. The NFL has released yes. it. The referees haven't said anything yet, so that's something to wait for. In the, pa- uh, the NFL really can't take any more heat than that. I mean, that was actually oh one, that was one of this before. Insane. That was one of my first thoughts. I was considering the fact that like, what if these referees didn't know they had that this so was a Muslim many, sub? They had so uh, many different things. Adrian Peterson, Ray Rice, this. Especially like, it's ridiculous. Since, I mean, you mentioned that they don't know. I mean, especially since they penalized it for a slide, that just shows you that I don't think they really knew too much about the Muslim religion in general. But, like, at first, what, at first they were being too soft on things, and now what is this, for a slide, really? You're going to tell me it's for a slide, they're going to penalize them instantly like well, that? I mean, so the now no they're going fu- too the strict no, on things? The No Fun League. I mean, it's always been strict on um, – it's just it's not a new thing that they're strict on on, um, on excessive celebration. It's not, and I think that it's really a shame because I think one of the beauties of soccer, football, as European countries call it, is the celebration and the pure joy that you see when a person scores. It's sort of a, f- a fun thing to watch. Yeah, that they, yeah, yeah. they make it and they just release all the emotions in the team. You know, they all celebrate together. That's what you work And for. I think that that's something, I mean, you don't take it to the extreme of the University of Miami back in the day, but I think that it's something <laughs> that definitely needs to be reintroduced. I actually have a, I have a relative who played on that team, actually. Really? What's his name? Oh, uh, Brandon Mar- uh, the little uh, uh, Shendel Marshall. I forgot his first name because uh, it's my it's my mom's cousin's cousin, so uh, it's like a distant relative. All right, that has been second take. I'm Sam the Man. That's Muhammad the, Ma- yep. the Muhammad the Magnet and Ratchet Richie. We hope to see you again soon. Oh, what's his name? Are you serious? Shendel Marshall. Shendel Marshall. the second take show. Tune in to WHIT Radio Docs or YouTube page for more shows. Have a good day.